I'm going to show you how to walk through a list. And, and in particular, I'm going to do a little slideshow app. You've got three pictures. I've already loaded the media. There are three different picture files. You've got a next button. When you click on next, you kind of want to walk to the next, the next picture. Okay. So I'm going to go over to the blocks editor. I've already set up this list. Okay. It's a variable called image files and it's got the names of all the pictures and if you'll notice these names have to exactly match the media names over here okay in fact you can see the media names in the blocks editor as well okay so I need to walk through I need to keep track of where I am in the list okay so I'm gonna add a new variable and we call it index so index just it's gonna start off as one and that just means that I am on the first um, picture. In fact, we're showing Coit Tower to start, right? In my designer, I've already said, look, the image is going to show Coit Tower when the app starts, okay? So my index is kind of just tracking that. I'm on number one, okay? Now my when next button dot click. So when the user clicks next, I want to move to the next picture. I want to show Golden Gate Bridge, then Alcatraz. And I don't care what files are in here, I want my code to work. So I don't want it to be very specific code. I want it to be general code that will walk through any, any list. Okay. Well, certainly when they click next, we want to increment our index. We want to change index from 1 to 2 or 2 to 3. Right. So I'm going to change my index and I'm going to grab a set and then a get and then I'll just type in a plus and get my plus block here. So I want to change my index to its current value plus one. Okay, so when the next button's click, change this variable from one to two or two to three, whatever. Okay, finally, I also need to change the image file. Okay, so I'm going to go to image one and I want to change its picture property. And what I want to stick in as the picture property is I want to select one of these guys. And in fact, I want to select the index item. So not the first, not the second, not the third, but whatever the value of this variable is, I want to select that one. So I'm going to go over to lists, grab the um, select list item block. Okay, my list of course is the list of image files and my index is going to be the variable index. Okay, so the first time I click next, I should change index to two and then I should grab the second picture, which is Golden Gate Bridge. And then third time, index will change to three, and I should grab Alcatraz. Okay, um, I've got my phone, you, you know, it's projecting onto the screen here. So I'm going to click Next, and I just touched Next, and the picture should change to Golden Gate Bridge. Good. I'm going to touch Next again, and it should change to the third picture. And, you know, I got something wrong. So I expected Alcatraz to come up here. Let's make sure that this guy is spelled exactly the same as my media file and as you can see it's not I got this lowercase jpeg here and uppercase jpeg here so let's just change this guy and I think we should be good so if I change him to jpeg okay I think my code should work now I'm gonna go back to the designer because I want to restart my test okay and what I'm gonna do to restart is just change any any um, Thing here, so I'll just change the button font size to 15. So any change I make in the designer, it's going to cause the app to kind of re restart. So it should show me um, my first picture. So back in my blocks, and I'm going to go and grab my phone again and, and click next. Um, so I just touched next, and it should show the bridge, and then now it should show um, Alcatraz. Okay, cool. Now what do you think is going to happen if I click next again? Well, it's not going to be good. I click next and you're going to see an error. Select list item. I'm trying to get the fourth number four of a list of just link three. So I've only got three things in my list, but I was trying to get the fourth one, right? In other words, when I click next, I'm not checking where I'm at. I'm just adding one to index and trying to grab the next thing. So it's cool for the first, first couple of times I click next, but then it bombs out. So what I need is an if statement just to check to see where where I am. Okay, so I'm going to grab an if and what I want to check is to see where index is. Okay, so I'm going to copy this guy and I want to see and make sure that index is um, 
you know, small enough, right? I don't want to get too, too big. If I get to three, I should just, you know, I'm just going to stop. So if my index is less than or equal to the length of this list, then, then I feel like I'm okay, okay? Um, so I'm going to grab from list, I'm going to grab the length of list block. And, uh, sorry, where is that guy? So the length of list block, and I want the list image files. Okay, so if index is less than it, then I'm going to go ahead and increment index and change my picture. So if index is 2, I'll change it to 3 and grab the third picture. But the next time the user clicks next and index is 3, this is going to be false and I won't do anything. I'll just kind of stay, stay where I'm at. So let's go ahead and go back and let's get this guy to re, restart. So I'm just going to trigger the designer to restart. Okay, I've got my first picture up. Let's just show the blocks. When I click next, that should change to the second picture. Okay, click next again, third. Okay, here, here so far we're back to where we, where we were. Now hopefully when I click next, I'm not going to get that error message. Okay, good. It, it basically did nothing. Okay, so anyway, we are now traversing a list. Kind of the keys are use an index variable to keep a track of where you are. Um, every time on some event, maybe the user clicking the next button, maybe something else, maybe some game you're playing, you know, causes, you know, the list to be incremented. Anyway, we're going to add one to the index and then go get that item from the list. Go get the indexed item from the list.